Hello, welcome to Minecraft Maker. My name's Theron. Uh, I have no idea what we're going to do for the next 20 minutes or so. I uh, hope you have some popcorn. Or something to amuse yourself. Uh, how's it going? I just came back from the nether. Which I may or may not uh, publish. Just because it wasn't that, that eventful. I was looking for a nether fortress and was completely unsuccessful in finding one hey you guys see that yeah that's what happens to his KPs around here back in back in there you go Ugh. okay no more escapees I have one guy in here or do I uh, green guy in here which I knew about there's a blue guy in here too or the green I don't know okay cactus farm is doing quite well I need to uh, think about a storage system for it because it is generating crazy amounts of cactus Oh, I left something, did I? I left something smelting. Oh, I got more stone. I will need to bring that to the nether. Oh, it's still working. That's what happens when you go to another dimension. Okay, let's let's go stow some stuff. Oh, that's a horrible sentence. Stow some stuff. And brewing stuff is down here. I have one gas tier. Now I have two. Ooh. Okay. Uh, need a, need a few things. I need uh, a blaze rod in order to actually take advantage of that. But oh well. Okay, and then I've got more glowstone, which is awesome. Oh shoot! I brought the jack o' lanterns back with me. That's that's actually no good. Okay, I have to remember to bring those with me next time. See, I'm even ready for a blaze. I've got snowballs up the wazoo. Because I have a little snow golem here. I got a bunch of snowballs. And, uh... Hi, dude. I'm sorry that you're trapped in here. Your, uh... Your predecessor disappeared. Whether he escaped or what, I don't know. Um... Yeah, so and I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put the brewing setup. I think I might set it up right here. Uh, I have some ideas about design, but uh, until I actually get a blaze rod, there's no point in even thinking about it. So, uh, let's see here. There's some pumpkins. I have to remember to bring these back to the, the nether with me. Uh, so, what are we going to do today? We're going to go do some resource gathering. My wife is at the Jack White show, so I wanted to get some recording done. Because it was quiet in the house. Just the puppies. Who were not pestering me. For some reason. Not that I'm complaining. I love my dogs. Um, we've been out to the, to the mob farm lately. We can go. We can go do some resource gathering. That's probably not the most exciting thing in the world for you though. Oh, we should probably put this back. Um, this down a bit. And put the brightness back down on Moody. <coughs> Hang on a second. <clears throat> Doggy neighborhood watch is in effect. There are people making a lot of noxious noises out in the world. Okay. Oh, one thing I wanted to think about. Remember, we were at negative X. Is that way. So if I went out negative X, 
Because remember, my bridge in the nether goes to about minus 220x, which turns into, what, minus 1600? And so I could, and I'm like at z practically zero here. I wonder what's 1600 blocks that way. That might be worthwhile. It might be an interesting experiment. Um, but not going to do that today. What am I going to do today? Let's go visit the spider spawner. Let me show it to you. And, and I need to... Actually, I need some blocks. I need some... I have cobblestone. Okay. I don't think I... I don't know that I've taken you down these, uh, this staircase. This is my... This is my mine. It's a pretty good one. I like it. I've got signs up, different points here, telling me different things. So I go down to what I'm calling level 6, but it's really um, about level 11, which is a good sort of level for, for diamonds. Um, so we've got, if I go down this way, a bit. And go down here. So the initial spider spawner I found. Let me re re equip myself here. I don't really need a shovel. Okay. Uh, the original spider spawner I found was this way, about a hundred blocks, and about three blocks down below. Why do I have this blocked off? Because I haven't fully explored that ravine yet. Okay. And why do I have this like this? Oh, goodness. I don't know if I'll be able to find my uh, double spawner. Um, oh, goodness. Oh, things get complicated. Okay, so. You notice I've got supplies down here. And all sorts of good stuff. What I need to do is find the shortest path to my spawner. And... Um, I don't know. I'm, duh, it's not up there. But it might be up here. To my devil spawner. And uh, so you see, I've got like this really extensive abandoned mine shaft. All this used to be abandoned mine shaft. And I've gone and cleared out lots of it, but not all of it. I need to spend some time up here. This looks weird. And I'm getting myself lost. This is not good. Uh, but I got my marker, so I'm up above. Oh, goodness gracious. I have coordinates, so I, I can go find it by brute force later if I need to. But this seems, this seems excessive. And what is going on here? Water flowing down. Oh, and I've got spider accoutrements down there. I bet the spawner is down, down there. This is not the right way to get to it. Okay, this is not going to be exciting. Oh, hello, iron. Let me relieve you of yourself. Oh, goodness. Oh, it's a whole freaking vein. Oh. <laughs> A large one. Shall we say massive? Goodness. Okay, let's uh don't need to trip into you later, so let's just do this. Okay. I've already walked over this way. I have this block. Oh, okay, so there's a. This is a mine shaft, a branch that I've already dug through. Oh, hello. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's down there? 
This means something. Oh, this is where I came in. Okay, I don't know. I have to go find it. I'm not going to do this on camera. It's kind of boring. I've got things pretty well lit up down here, but there are still areas that I haven't explored. My uh, strategy here is this indicates that's a dead end, that I've cleared it out. I'm trying to clean up the shafts as I go through, clear out the wood, because that can be helpful. <clears throat> and... Yeah, it's a dead end. Dead end, dead end. Huh. Okay, I was hoping I'd be able to find this more easily. Oh look, a ladder. Where does it go? It goes down here. Okay. Hello. Look what we have here. We have ourselves a spider spotter. Uh, this is the first one I found, I believe. Let's just make sure this is lit up because I don't need a spider spawning while I'm down here at all. All right. Hello, Mr. Spider. How are you? Um, so, and I blocked this off not because it's dead end, but because I just haven't cleared it out. Hello, Mr. Iron. Wait. Yeah, see, there's nasties over there. And spooky sounds. Another good sized iron deposit. Let's get it all real quick and block it back up. Because I need to spend some time exploring. So the spawner appears to be those nasty little cave spiders. Which is, will be no problem once I actually build something out of this. I don't know that I'm going to do this one. There's the one I, that's a little ways away. I think it's up a bit. That where I can see two of them at, from the same vantage point. I think I'm going to have them sort of flow into each other. And if I can figure out where they are in relation to this, I may, uh, I may include this one too. It'd be kind of cool to have a triple spawner, uh, triple spa triple spawner uh, string farm. Where are you? I don't hear you. I don't see you. I hear you. Okay, so let's uh, let's let's vamoose because this still isn't entirely safe down here. So, oops, and. Here's my setup. Jump down in here. Put me down some dirt. And put a torch on top. Alright. So that's my spider spawner that I have to do something with. Obviously, as you see, I, I have plans in my creative world. I'm gonna have uh, switchable water flowing on and off and uh, lights from glowstone or redstone lamps actually I think I explored this pretty well yeah I did I, I did a pretty good job on this one um so red I just I think I just didn't want to completely block it off uh redstone lamps in the ceiling so I can turn it on and off in case I decide to go back in and have to do some maintenance and then uh, have water flowing pushing spiders down into into rows of cactus to uh, to kill them that would be good and then uh, put hoppers down below that and collect all their string and spider eyes uh, the string could be useful for I don't know for making trip wires like what I want to build my uh, um, oh if I want to build my 
gold farm in the nether the usual routine involves trip wires and pistons this is an interesting glitch you can see it looks like there's a fire down there at the end of this but there's not I don't know what we're looking at but it will disappear before I get to the end of the uh, the tunnel here it's gonna take a while but it will disappear I promise you and uh, Probably we'll need to use trip wires and string for the uh, the witch farm out of my witch hut Which I need to go back and visit and find a good way there And uh, maybe set up a portal there if that makes sense So I can build a little start building a little portal network So I can travel between these places in the nether How long is this tunnel? It's pretty long Oh, that's right. This one's almost 700 blocks long, I think. Getting hungry. Let's eat. You see the little fire disappeared? I hear water. I'm not digging through those walls. Okay. In the little patches of obsidian in the floor, of course, where I came across uh, lava and uh, turned it into, uh, into obsidian. Wow, this is long. Come on. Maybe it's time for a new shaft. <laughs> this is crazy. It just keeps on going. I hear lava. I hear bats. And if you're thinking it's insane that I haven't run across any caves or or anything. Oop. Ah. So this was uh, as far as the generated chunks came before I upgraded to the snapshots and included andesite and diorite and the, the new stone types. So you can see I'm 840 uh, blocks long. Um, so this is where the new the new stones start happening. Uh, so when they officially release 1.8, I, I don't know. It's a little frustrating that I have to travel so far in order to find the new stones. Oh. Oh, that's where I left off. Why are those oh the chunks must have gotten unloaded. Okay. Hello iron. Come to me. And let me put you away, put you down on the bar. Do that. Whoops, hey. No, there we go. Thank you. It makes mining a little bit more complicated having more than one type of stone. Although I don't mind having more than one type of stone in the world. It just means it fills up your inventory more quickly than if everything was just uh, cobblestone. And sometimes I switch over to the silk touch pick so I pick up the smooth stone and I don't have to cook it down. But there's so much there's so much coal down here that I don't have to worry about fuel really. Sorry, I didn't really mean to go resource gathering with uh, on camera, but A nice vein of iron and here's speaking of coal there we go whoa that was an interesting bit of lag I guess it's generating a chunk behind me I'm in uncharted territory at this point I've never been here before in the world in any 
over, above ground or below ground. Oh, hello. Oh, I love this fortune pick. Got me four emeralds right there. That's awesome. Okay. Not that I have any need for emeralds at the moment, but one of the things that I want to do when I start brewing is I can find myself some zombie villagers and cure them and actually start a new village because I just I had that one village it's my away base and frankly all the villagers got killed I did a very poor job protecting them wow there's a ton of coal down here um, and it would be nice to have some villagers because potentially I could trade with them all sorts of options oh I didn't fill that in. I like filling in after myself because it makes. And I use cobblestone to do it. It sort of lets me know that I've been there. And uh, lets me know that I've I've explored out that area. And oh goodness, this is a ton of coal. Hello, my friend. Okay. Spooky sound. It knew. It'd be nice if the music in Minecraft or the sound effects in Minecraft were uh, somewhat reactive. So when ominous things were happening, you would get ominous sounds. That would be kind of cool. All right. Hello. Doesn't look like a huge deposit. That's okay. Any diamonds are good. And let's see, what about below? I'm making a huge hole here. A redstone below. So it's really just two of you. Okay. I'll accept that. Here's the beautiful thing about having a fortune pack. Two blocks of diamonds become six. And a few blocks of redstone become like 28. Okay, let's see if I have enough uh, to fill this all in. Hello. Okay, I know this is super tedious. I'm sorry. I should stop apologizing. Um, so this is the way I like cave. I like uh, mining. I like filling. I like cleaning up after myself. If I come into this big block of, of cobblestone from another direction, I know that I've already been here. It's not mossy, so I know it's not a spawner. Um, wait, how am I going to get out? Okay. Goodness. That was worth it. We always like the diamonds. <laughs> and you can totally hear the clicking on my track, on my trackpad. That's okay. Um, yeah. Do I have more cobble? I have some. Okay. Okay, awesome. How much coal did I get out of that? I got a stack and a half of coal. Nice. So I knew I wanted to come down this far. There's still plenty to explore down here. Hello, iron. Goodness. Never complain about having iron. I wish the for fortune enchantment worked on uh, ores, but alas, it does not. Or if there was an enchantment that uh, gave you like a flame pick so that it smelted it as you uh, as you 
dug it out. What in the world is that? Oh. Four. Oh, I dug too far. Okay. Okay. Well, let's see how far we've come now. Hello, Mr. Zombie. I hear you. I don't see you. 993. Oh, let's let's go to a thousand. Maybe we'll find that zombie. Sounds like he's over here though. 997. Oh look, and I get more coal. And I get more iron. Okay, I'm I'm a kilometer out. From home base, or almost. Alright, so let's get rid of that. It's distracting. Oh, single piece of iron. That's actually kind of rare. Let's see what happens. stuff here okay well um, I some kilometer out it's gonna take me a little while to get back Should turn around probably will spare you doing that on camera because frankly you don't need to see me walk in a kilometer which in Minecraft takes much longer than it should so here we go watch it tick on down all right, so I think that's about it for today. I'm going to uh, go dump all the stuff back, cook up the cobblestone so I can have more stones for the nether, and uh, figure out next steps. Because I have to find myself another fortress. I'm becoming an obsession because it just it's the next thing I need to do in the game. So anyway, um, 800 blocks to go. I will, uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching, and I will, uh, uh, yeah, what I said. I'll see you next time. All right, bye.